Hello children. Are you all fine? Great. So it's time to learn a new Buddhism lesson. Are you all ready? Okay, here we go. Today we are going to learn about the Asala Poya Day. Do you know when Asala Poya is celebrated? Yes, it is celebrated in the month of July. As a Buddhist, there are three important religious festivals for us. What are those? Yes, the first one is Vesak Poya and it falls in the month of May. We commemorate the birth of Prince Siddhartha, the enlightenment of Prince Siddhartha and the Parinibbana of the Buddha. The second one is Poson Poya and it falls in the month of June. The importance of Poson Poya is that Buddhism was introduced to Sri Lanka on a Poson Poya day. The third one is Asala Poya and it falls in the month of July. Now let's learn why Asala Poya is important for us. Three important things took place on Asala Poya day. They are Queen Mahamaya's dream, the great renunciation of Prince Siddhartha and the first sermon of the Buddha. So the first important thing that happened on Asala Poya is Queen Mahamaya's dream. It was on an Asala Poya day that Queen Mahamaya saw a dream of a white elephant carrying a white lotus flower walk thrice round the sleeping queen and entered her body. The second important thing that happened on Asala Poya is the great renunciation of Prince Siddhartha. Prince Siddhartha left the palace with Channa and the horse Kantaka in search of a way to escape suffering took place on an Asala Poya day. The third important thing that happened on Asala Poya is the first sermon of the Buddha. The Buddha delivered the first sermon to his first disciples Kundanya, Vappa, Bhadya, Mahanama, Asaji at Isipatana Ramaya in Baranas on an Asala Poya day. So children, do you know how Asala Poya is celebrated? Asala Poya is important for the Buddhists as the monks observe us staying inside the temples, practicing Dhamma. Asala is also celebrated as a day when the Tuk relic at Dalada Maligava in Kandy is taken in procession on the streets of Kandy. It is called the Asala Perahara. Asala Perahara is also called as Dalada Perahara. This historical procession is held annually to pay homage to the sacred tooth relic of Buddha, which is housed at the Sri Dalada Maligava in Kandy. The main attraction is the parading of the casket of the tooth relic on an elephant. The tusker of the Dalada Perahara is called Atraja. The festival ends with the traditional Dhyakapima ritual, a water cutting ceremony which is held at the Mahavali River at Gatambe, Kandy. Many religious activities are organized to celebrate the Asala Poya Day. Some of them are silk campaigns, dancers, and Perahara. Hope you all learnt about Asala Poya in detail. Now it's time to see whether you all understood the lesson. So take out your Shikshana Buddhism textbooks and turn page number 44 and write answers for the given questions in your Buddhism writing books. Then let's meet again with another new lesson. Till then, stay safe. Goodbye.